Hi gang, Diana Trout here. Welcome to my studio and to my class at Curious. It's a mixed media card making class and I'm going to release one of the mini lessons and introduce that a little bit for you. Um, in this particular lesson I am using a Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous stamp. And it's quite a lovely stamp. It's called Botanical Sketch. I'll link all these things down below. I'm also using a product called Texture Paste. And this particular one is from Ranger. Uh, sort of a Tim Holtz themed day here. I'm also using some Distress Inks. And these really can be any colors that go together, plus one. And we're going to just... All we're doing here is taking um, taking the stamp and patting these colors around in different areas on the stamp. It's um, uh, a method that produces a multicolored print, which I think is, as you can see here, is really lovely. And with the different colors, you can also get some browns because I had purple and green here. You'll pick up some browns, so you'll get a really kind of um, a rich print with that. And this really is on the texture paste. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I wanted to also show you just the way I made the. Uh, one of the cards uh, where you can finish off a card that using a little bit of stitching and some stamped vellum. So let's get right to using Distress Inks, Texture Paste, and a rubber stamp. For this next technique, I'm going to use a product called Texture Paste, and this is plain white texture paste. There's a few out on the market. This happens to be Ranger. I think you can also use, uh, there's other pastes out there that you can use. Um, I'll probably put some more alternatives into, into the link, the PDF, because if you are, if you have any fine art materials, once again, I'm going to take this piece of paper out so I don't mess it up. That is a piece of texture paste on my mat. So you just smear it in and you can make this as smooth or as rough as you'd like it. It depends on just what kind of a look you want. I'm going to go somewhere in the middle here and leave, leave some texture and I'm just using my palette knife. I would definitely use a palette knife for this and have wet wipes around or be prepared to dump these all these tools right into water after this. The texture paste dries pretty quickly. So I think I have a pretty even coat there and I am going to truly immediately <laughs> clean this, this off. Now, it, it's, it, once it's dry, you cannot get it off. It comes off my craft mat pretty good, but that's a slick surface. So, um, once again, we're going to use this plate. And I didn't clean it off after I made the first print. It's still wet. I'm going to give it another spritz because I find that the texture paste doesn't stick too much if you spritz your your block. So I'm actually going to go off camera and give it a spritz. One, two, three. Spritz. And um, lay it down again. And lay the texture paste side down onto that stamp. Now you will want to run right to the sink and with a little nail brush gently scrub away any texture paste that's on this stamp. This uh, 
but you will notice that with that's beautiful. Do you see that it has, well, you'll be able to see it better when it's dry. It has those colors on it. But here is one that I, I used uh, probably a third generation. I probably did two generations of this from this plate. And um, in fact, I'm going to grab another piece of paper, even though it has a little bit of texture paste on it. I'm going to spritz this. I'm going to give it another spritz and see what else I can get from this. You can usually get a good bit from one of those Distress Ink treated plates. But with the texture paste, you not only get the color, you also get the texture which is very, very nice. So let's see what I got from that. Very light, not much left at all. But that's okay, we can use that as a background. It's actually very beautiful in areas. Okay, I'm gonna go scrub off my plate with my little nail brush.